Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling an interesting question from one of our viewers about using graphene for batch creation of objects. Specifically, they want to know how to create multiple people at once rather than just one. Let's dive into the details. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we're going to be going through a question, going through those answers, and hopefully it leads to your solution. Remember, stay a little bit crazy just like me to get through to your resolution. Now let's get started. To create multiple people using graphene, we need to modify our mutation class. Let's start by defining a new mutation class for batch creation. Next, we will define an input class that accepts a list of people. This allows us to pass multiple entries at once. Now, we need to implement the mutate method. This method will iterate over the list of people and create each one. Finally, we should return the list of created people along with a success status. This way, we can confirm that the operation was successful. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To create multiple objects in a batch, you can use Graphene's input object type. This allows you to define the structure of the input data. Here's a sample implementation. First, define a person input class with name and age fields. Then, create a mutation class called Create People. In the Create People mutation, specify a list of person input objects. The mutate method will create person objects from the input data. Finally, the mutate method processes the input and returns the created person objects. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To create multiple objects in a mutation, make your input a list. This allows you to return a list of created people. Here's a simple example. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To create multiple user instances in a batch, start by defining a user type model in Graphene. This model will represent the user data structure. Next, define the input fields for the user creation process specifying required fields like name and password. Then, create a mutation class called Create User. This class will handle the logic for creating users from the provided input data. Finally, make the mutation callable in the main schema and demonstrate how to use it with a sample mutation query. And that's it guys, we've gone through the solutions and I'm hoping that it resolved your issue. If it did, please hit the subscribe button, I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.